Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel on the Notaro 1122. Alright, so Leo, let's see what we got going on. We are going to get some messages between you and your person. The person that is thinking about you or the person that you are thinking about, okay? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, keep in mind that this is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what fits and leave the rest. For some of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Capricorn, anybody else here that want to get some messages to or through Leo. Keep in mind that this can be uh, reversed. Leo, I can say that these messages are from your person, the person that you're thinking about. It could actually be from you, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we got Aquarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, anybody else here speaking now? I'll forever hold your peace. Anybody else here that wants to speak to Leo? All right, so one more again. Anybody else? All right, so we got a Capricorn here in the Aries. All right, keep in mind that this could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? All right, let's see what messages. Uh oh, no, oh, come back here. I almost feel like it's somebody else who wanted to say something here, okay? Somebody here could be a bit uh, shy, a little bit defensive here as well. Maybe somebody is holding their guard up. It could be you or uh, either one of these people. All right, so let's see. Give me messages about these people. I'm not going to do all, all of the above. All right, mutual energies for these people. Soulmates, okay. All right, so there's a soul connection here, a partnership agreement, soul contract. So somebody feels like you are their person. We have paradise on the bottom of the deck. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. Enjoying each other. Can I get one more about this situation for Leo and these people or this person? All right, let's see. Just so done. Mentally tapped, emotionally spent. Physically drained, spiritually depleted, ready to make a change. Ouch. Okay. What happened here? All right, let's see. What's going on here? What happened in this situation with Leo? All right, and this person. What is going on with the T? All right, I will not take reversals in this deck. What's going on in this situation? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Give me messages for Leo in this situation, please, and thank you. All right, impersonator wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you, copies you. We have romantic lover, secret love affair. All right, somebody's in their head here. This is landing over here on the Aries, overthinking, stress, over analyzing. Somebody, okay, look, you got somebody here that's impersonating you. Someone here that is stealing your ideas, copies your work, duplicates you, and feeds off of you. What in the entire hell? You sure this is the sign? <laughs> I'm just saying I'm expecting to see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, what's up with this? You got more than one person that's doing this? I mean, what the hell? Y'all can't find somebody else to copy off of, look after? What, what's going on here? Oh, Lord. And I'll bet you if I pull one more card, I already know what sign is going to come out. It's either going to be Leo or Taurus. All right, so let's see here. What's going on in this situation? My God. All right. This is irritating. All right, somebody is digging up, trying to dig up dirt on you, looking for dirt on you, or vice versa. Leo, somebody in your business, or are you trying to be in somebody else's business? Dodging a bully here, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people. Protected, uh, protected by haters. Okay, maybe somebody doesn't like this person and they're protecting you. All right, was that confirmation? 
All right. Give me messages here, please, and thank you. This person's a broke ass. All right, Leo, your finances could be looking good, well off, or something like that here. I don't know. And maybe somebody here is trying to act like they got, got the bag and they don't. Or maybe somebody here has got the bag and they're playing like they broke. I don't know. Somebody might get creative on how they hide their money. I'm just saying. All right. Give me messages in their head. Somebody is hooked. That's crazy because I saw that when I first started the reading. Kind of gave it a little side eye. But yeah, somebody can't get enough of you. Either watching you, copying you, whatever this is. This is weird. Maybe you're done with this person. This is crazy. Try me. Not in the mood. The answer is no. Pissed off. Chopping block. Fed up. Things need to change. Okay, so obsessive lover what's going on with this person this is clarifying hooked dangerous toxicity unhealthy possessiveness and karmic so you got somebody here that's a little little crazy here we've been getting this for a minute here too somebody's a bit obsessed all right, trying to look for a way to, to get... Why are they digging dirt on you? Somebody's fla uh, fake flexing here. Somebody's pretending to be someone that they are not. Acts rich, flosses money. Acts fancy, showing off. Well, you fancy, huh? Clout hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit, shit up, and this person is dramatic. Damn. Give me messages. Your light irritates their demons. All right, this person is reflecting here on conversations on the past with you. All right, forcer forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want here. This is someone here that pushes themselves on people here as well. Oh, God, we got somebody here that sucks up all the positive energy and air in the room. Goodness. Children's services could be involved here as well. Kids are at risk of being taken. Or is about to. Somebody's reporting some negative ooh, neglect or abuse. What the hell is going on here? Someone here could have some legal issues, okay, regarding some type of childhood neglect or something like that abuse or something here what the hell is this give me messages here please and thank you happiness hater this person is digging up dirt on you or trying to and they're doing this in silence this could be somebody that's looking into the money that you're making here as well. Whatever it is that you're doing to make your money, clout hungry. Somebody may be trying to do the same thing that you're doing to make money. This person also may have some type of bad habits here as well. This is someone who also has a very big ego. E ego hurt, ego getting in the way of the relationship. This could also be someone that feels like they are better than you as well. Jesus. This is also somebody that creeps around watching you, observing you here as well. This person uh, could be traveling towards you. Yo. 
what's going on with these weird ass people? This is weird. And you got somebody that's really hating on you here. Um, this is kind of kind of weird. For some of you, this could be family members, friends. situation why are these people coming at Leo like this what else does Leo need to know about these people all right this is somebody here that you've had unconditional love for too so this may be someone that you have let your guard down with someone that you may have trusted give me messages all right poaching here trespassing by any means a liar here okay so this person knows no boundaries all right and somehow or another the truth was exposed all right so give me messages here please and thank you you could have somebody around you that was just using you for what you have all right so finesse manipulator trickster and this person can't turn it off all right uh, the devil is a lie and the truth is not in this person okay you can't trust this person as far as you could throw them or see them I see you standing right there and I'm just saying, better not blink an eye. This person might steal you if you be still long enough, okay? All right, give me messages, please, and thank you for Leo. All right, you are living rent-free in a Pisces head over here. Can't get you off of my mind. All right, look at this. That thought over there, oh, my God. All right, so this person could be a thought. This person may feel like you are one as well. I don't know. kind of seems like this person is a thought here this person is also a runner all right so this is somebody that's non-committal all right this is someone that is apathetic they could care less about what somebody else is going through they don't give a damn about lying to get what they want all right this is somebody that is bougie thinking that they are better than everybody else uh like i said this person doesn't care they don't give a damn about nobody except for them and their their come up okay they don't care about friends, family, or nothing. This person possibly holds themselves to a, ped a higher standard, put themselves on a pedestal that they do not belong on here. All right, and like I said, this person might also tell lies here in order to gain sympathy from others, okay? This is a very shallow person, very shallow and very vindictive, okay? This person also might be into self-pleasuring, all right? They might have some addictions here, you know what I'm saying? They might like to touch themselves a lot. Also, this person is self, um, anything that they do is self-gratifying. Like I said, they don't care about other people. It's all about self, all right? You're dealing with somebody that is very selfish, all right? If they do something for you, it's because they're reaping something from the, uh, from the, uh, from that act, okay? This is also someone that may overindulge in something here as well. Uh, they could have addictions here. This person could, you know, be obsessive about certain things. When they get their mind uh, set on something like, for instance, trying to take you down and doing whatever they are doing towards you, uh, instead of minding their own business and moving on with their life, this person has you in their eyesight. So, and they're determined to try to get whatever it is that they're trying to get from you, okay? All right, thinking about you 24-7, 365. For some of you, this person could be racist, a xenophobe here. Um, someone here um, also may only see things from a black and white perspective here. Uh, also, their way or the highway, there's no leeway, no in-between. Someone here could have some issues here, some health issues that maybe they're not receiving some type of treatment for. Uh, this person, this could be mental issues for some of you, or either this person has some type of illness that they are not, you know, seeking help for, all right? Uh, hypnotic under the influence here, okay, so I don't know, somebody here... They can be listening to other people here as well that, is, that are trying to influence them to take certain actions. I don't know. Someone here could actually have some type of entity attachment here as well that's uh, maneuvering through them. All right. Jesse spirit. I don't know. Whatever it is. 
uh, this person also here might actually be getting some type of, you know, uh, a push or encouragement to compete against you. But there's, there's no competition here, sweetheart. First of all, you two are in two different lanes, okay? This person is on some you shit. You feel me? Whatever it is that you're doing, this person's trying to do the same thing and I'll bet you at being you. It still makes no sense to me. All right, so like I said, there is no competition here, sweetheart, okay? Somebody is definitely sending you the evil eye. You're dealing with a deceitful liar scammer that you are cutting off. All right, like I said, someone here is mentally tapped out, emotionally spent. This is an energy vampire here. This is someone that does not give a damn about nobody. It just really, really behooves me that you got grown-ass people that roll in their eyes like a damn five-year-old at people here. And I can't stand people with that damn attitude. Oh, my God. It irks my soul. You understand? And it's such a nasty attitude. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, you got someone here that is really just such a joy to be around. I'm just saying. So, anyway. Very pleasant person. Could you imagine being married to this person or in a relationship? Yay. <laughs> probably try to hurry up and run from this person as soon as you can as soon as they turn their back pew, I'm out right and like I said uh, someone here their flaws and all have been exposed here someone here is kind of wishy-washy too they go from hot to cold uh, extreme inconsistencies here and like I said someone here could have some uh, addictions here they overindulge in certain things you know and the things that they should be indulging in they are not okay this could be someone here that is not very successful in life at all. Uh, possibly not because they're trying to gather other things that you are doing and make themselves successful off of what you're doing here. All right, which is really a trip that you really got somebody that's trying to copy you. And that's crazy because this has been coming out in all the readings. But anyway, moving on. All right, this is identity theft here, okay? You could have somebody that's, you know... Uh, doing something with credit cards or whatever. I don't know, stealing somebody's identity. But some of you, this person is trying to morph into you, okay? So just keep that uh, in the forefront of your mind here. And also, this person is very intrusive. You know, like I said before, this person might try to force themselves into your life. There are certain people that try to force themselves, you know, um into your life, into conversations, into situations, you know what I'm saying, just pushy, so I don't know, it looks like you're trying to avoid this person, uh, this person is also very avoided when it comes to uh, commitments, when it comes to, you know, doing what they have to do in order to succeed here, someone here, um, yeah, they basically pull themselves away as well here as well, somebody here also might have, um, uh, they they actually might disassociate, you know? Wow. That could be another reason why somebody is so detached emotionally, all right? They might have an avoidant attachment style here, so they don't get attached to people, all right? They are more attached to things, all right? And then also, somebody here might use uh, psychological manipulation here by gaslighting, and also spreading lies here as well. This person might be facing some type of mounting pressure here, okay? Also, uh, this person might be, it says, secretly eavesdropping. This person might know people that you know, and they might be getting uh, messages about you. Or, if you're in close vicinity with this person, they might be listening to everything that you do. Might have a listening device here. You got somebody here that's that creepy and that controlling. Um, if this is not the case, you could have somebody here that's doing readings and things like that on you, trying to get information uh, about you here, okay? So, I am going to get some messages from this person or from these people. I don't know how accurate these are going to be because these are basically love messages. But we'll see. Give me messages, please, and thank you. All right, childhood trauma. I believe that. Somebody's going through a little something, a lot of something. Okay, give me two more for this situation. Don't put up with my BS. Agree. <laughs> that part right there. Even this person knows they full of ish, right? 
right? So I also saw triggered too. Okay, I can't let go of you. You might be the closest thing to sanity, to peace, to healing that this person has. I'm obsessed with you. We see that, all right? Um, I was hurt by you, okay? So I don't know what you did to this person. Um, from the looks of it, you probably told this person about themselves, may have put them in their place, and may have reject, reject this person out of your life, okay? Because who needs enemies with friends and people like this around? It's a no for me. The hell? All right, so let's see. Give me messages. Golly. This person or these people here, whoever this is, is a mad trip. You got somebody jealous of you, hating on you, but want to be around you is sick. And what they like about you actually irritates them. That's, that's, bruh, sis, you got some traumas, you need to go fix that. You gotta, you gotta fix that. Alright, fix it. Just saying, give me messages from this person. I can feel the disgust. You probably just look at this person and just look at it. I'm just saying. Okay, so this person says you're sexy and you're cute, babe. They're flirty. Coming on to you, I want you. Making a move, sir, ma'am. Move your behind right on over there to that little chair outside my office. Close the door behind you. I'm just saying. Matter of fact, take a seat on the first, the first thing that's smoking away from here. All right, once someone triggers me, I run. I don't want to deal. Please, just keep running for us. Don't stop. All right, anything, uh, I'm sorry, anything to make you feel like I'm moving on. Are you sad? Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. You got to go. All right, anyway, Leo, I'm going to leave this little mess right here because... What was this? <laughs> Y'all come get your people. Matter of fact, uh, I don't know. I'm going to tell you just go ahead and end it with these people. Block it, cut it off, mute it. Because somebody here, they ain't worth the headache for me. I don't know about you, but I'm quite sure you could do better. Because what the hell is this? Yeah, that part. All right, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bye. Mm.